Here are the ingredients for tonight's dinner. I'm going to use Italian sausage instead of hamburger meat tonight. I'm going to use a little bit of this smoked sausage. I'm just going to use a um, regular meat sauce that I got here at a local um, grocery store off the economy. And I'm going to use these champagne shells today. I thought it would be really fun to use a different type of shell. And then I'm also missing an onion. So let's get started. I've preheated my skillet here and sprayed a little bit of olive oil. Now I'm going to add in the chopped onions. Get those cooked down a little bit. If I had a little bit of cooking wand, I would have added that in a little bit at this point. I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat down. Just let this cook down just about a minute. While this is cooking down, I'm going to go ahead and add into my boiling hot water. My boiling water. I put a little bit of salt at the bottom. It's five of us in this house. So I'm going to add two 12 ounce boxes of noodles into the water. and let that cook down and you just cook your noodles um, according to your um, box here but I cook it until it's al dente I'm going to go ahead and cover that and let that cook now that this has cooked down I'm going to go ahead and add in the Italian sausage And so that I'm just going to go ahead and add um, some all-purpose seasoning instead of garlic powder. Get this broken up. Just a tad bit of water to my skillet. Now, if I was cooking with a non-stick or something, I wouldn't necessarily need water, but it just helps saute the meat. Now I'm just going to let this brown up and then we'll come back for the next step. While my meat is browning, I'm going to go ahead and check on my pasta just to make sure that I keep it moving so they won't stick together. Okay. A lot of people or some people may add a little bit of olive oil into their water. It's a personal preference of yours, whatever you choose to do. But just move it around periodically so your noodles won't stick. Cover it back up and just make sure you don't, um, turn your heat down so you won't have a boil over or a spill over out the pot. And then we're going to go back to here and continue to chop up our meat as much as possible. Just break it down. Okay, now that we have this nice and brown, it looks so great. I'm going to go ahead and just add in a little bit of smoked sausage. This is not the whole pack. This is just like one of the smoked sausage. I just like the extra flavor. Sometimes I even add in smoked sausage, the um, Italian sausage and ground beef. But I didn't have any ground beef tonight and we'll be okay. Turn that down a little bit and just let this simmer just for a little bit. And while this is simmering, I'm going to go ahead and get my pasta ready to drain. A quick tip that I like to do before I completely drain all of my water. I like to put just a little bit of the pasta water 
set it aside just in case I have to go back and add a little water um, back into the pasta. So I just like to add just a little bit of the pasta water. Here I have just a half of the pasta back into the pot. What I like to do to help layer it is take that extra sauce that I haven't used yet because I've only put half of the sauce here in that skillet. So I take the other part of the sauce and start putting it some at the bottom of the so it's actually easier for me to mix this way. So I put half of this in. Now I'm going to take some of this content, put it on there, add some more pasta, and continue to do it just to help me to um, blend and mix my pasta well. Now I take a little bit of this and put it inside the... Add a little bit more of this mixture. Add a little bit more sauce. Here is where the extra pasta um, comes in handy. I pour a little bit of that pasta water back in here, shake it up, and give it um, a good toss over here. So this is what I have so far, and I go in and finish mixing it up. I know some people like their pasta and meat sauce separate, but I personally like it mixed together. This is what we have going on so far. This is how it's all looking. I haven't completely finished mixing it together. This was the last bit out of my skillet. And I have it here at the top. And now I just go through and give it a light toss just to get everything finished mixing. Because you put the layers, you don't have to do too much. And so I'm mushing your... That's why I like to put it in layers. It's just easier to finish mixing it all well. And then I go and give it a taste um, because sometimes red sauce can be a little bit um, too savory. I like to add a little bit of sugar to my pasta just to help balance out the savory and um, the savory of the meat sauce with the um, sweetness of the sugar. So I just add a little bit of white granulated sugar. Salt to taste, sugar to taste is all a preference. I'm just adding a little bit of mozzarella just for a little more flavor and then along with that I'm going to just add a tad bit of mild cheddar into the mozzarella just add just a little bit of mild cheddar put the lid on it to help melt the cheese Here's the end result. This will be our dinner for tonight. I like to add a little bit of frozen fruit. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys enjoy, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i want to thank you so so much for rocking out with me on this beautiful video i will speak to you very very soon bye for now